Hey tubes, Jimbo at Johnson's Garage here. Um, as you know, I'm Bull Ford 82. We're got the Cummins 4BT rebuild project going on. I wanted to talk about a couple different things. Actually, really just one thing, and that's just sharing my experience trying to get bearings for this uh, engine. Um, so uh, I don't know if it's it's probably because of the Rona. You know the Rona stuff going on, uh, but when I went to order my uh, bearings, I was going to order Clevite bearings for the rods and the mains. Um, I got the kit for the mains, and we've already done that and checked those out, and those came out pretty good. Um, but as far as getting the main or the rod bearings, um, I was having a hard time getting those because they were out of stock on multiple different versions. From um, you know at least in standard size. Um, they were out and um, maybe there's other places that will have them I could have ordered from but I didn't want to like get into place and orders and find out they're out of stock because um, a couple other sites I looked at they were all out of they were all out of stock on those too so one of you guys uh, I believe your name is Daniel turned me on to AG kits and I ordered a whole spiel of stuff from them um, one item I got is standard rod bearings. Now when you order bearings from them, uh, this they have two different types of bearings and this is where you need to figure out what kind of connecting rod you have because they have one set of bearings that's for a, a connecting rod that's uh, a machined connecting rod and that's what I have here. And you can tell because this isn't perfectly smooth, it looks like it was ground so that means this has been machined and then you have another connecting rod that's called a fractured rod and that's you know the way they cast it they have it set up right here I think somewhere in here the way it's casted they uh, they fracture it to break that off instead of machining it so when you go to order bearings they're gonna say you know is it um, you know machined rod or fractured rod so you wanna look at what kind of rods you got and evidently I've got um, machine rods which I went, and, went and ordered them anyways before really knowing what they were talking about and I uh, ended up seeing some pictures of two different rods they had on their site and the one that was machined looked just like the one here so that's what I went with got the machined bearing or um, you know bearings for a machine rod machine split rod it says it right here on the box but this is their brand of bearing from a maker called Reliance. And we've got, uh, we got, I ordered four bearings. The bearing kit for the mains I got from Clevite. So it's got Molly Clevite main bearings. But I got it for a 12 valve, so I'm left with an extra set. Uh, but Molly Clevite apparently is also a uh, pretty much an OEM maker for the Cummins part so um, I you know this here I mean it's got a Cummins part number and everything on it so um, yeah we're gonna roll with that um, I don't have any way to measure our clearance on this the way the book says so we're gonna have to do the old plasti gauge deal at least fit perfectly in here Anyways, I really wanted to give you guys a little tip on that. Uh, in case someone, you know, you go to order bearings and you're like, I don't know what what I'm supposed to get. So anyways, check out Bullford82 and subscribe to that channel if you haven't already. And get up to date on all the 4BT stuff and other projects we're working on. Um, so I've got one package coming in this week, uh, Thursday. And that's the rest of the stuff I need to get this engine kind of put back together. So that video will probably come out um, not this following, not this weekend, but the next weekend. So, but anyways, wanted to give you guys a little tip on the getting the bearings there. So yeah, see you guys later.